In this video, you can see how the seismic activity moves southwest due to the magma movement in the magma tunnel. Let's watch. You see how big is this uh, tunnel, magma tunnel, that is under the city of Grindavik by the way too. And it also threatens the city of Kaplik, which is not far. We would have this large eruption of this scale as we see the earthquakes going on. I don't think it will be that big, but the fissure might be pretty long, pretty big fissure, which can... Uh, destroy Grindavik city completely. Let's watch again. See how seismic activity starts and how it spreads along this tectonic fault. That's how tectonic lines, tectonic rifting is taking place uh, in this tilted form on the Reykjanes Peninsula as we had also in by the same angle, but here uh, tectonic activities uh, on far bigger scales and also the seismic activity. We haven't seen anything like this in of this size, of this scale in Fagradalsfjall. You see what is happening? And the earthquakes are continuing, by the way. Seismic activity does not stop, as you see, in the past 48 hours we had 3,092 earthquakes. Of this, uh, there had been 87 earthquakes, magnitude 3 and larger. And 2 to 3 we had 480 earthquakes, but the greatest amounts of earthquakes were very shallow and um, small like uh, 1,267 earthquakes magnitude 1 and less, 1,258 earthquakes magnitude 1 and 2, so... And um, the depths of earthquakes are quite shallow, you see 1 kilometer, here it was 200 meters earthquakes, at the depths of 200 meters, many shallow earthquakes, at very shallow depths, 1 kilometer, many of them are very, very shallow, 1 kilometer, 4, 5, 1, 1, 1.1, 1 kilometers depths. So, and it's all in the area of Grindavik, 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 Grindavik. As here you see the map of the earthquakes. See, they kind of subsided now, but you know, earthquakes comes in wave. And the very fact that the seismic activity continues and doesn't stop is, of course, alarming because. The earthquakes stop at uh, in Fagradalsfjall. They only stop it when the volcano erupted and the magma made it to the site, and then the earthquakes stop it. But here are they still ongoing. I would like to have the earthquakes stop it altogether. Then we will can say for sure that we uh, there will be no eruption, unlikely. But you see, the seismic activity continues, and we have many of them, thousands, thousands still. So the action is still ongoing. Yet another look at uh, the earthquake map from another resource called Wafri.is And as you see, uh, we still have an earthquakes. Uh, this is the data for the past 24 hours, all the earthquakes in Iceland. And as you see, the, all the activity is in Re on the Reykjanes Peninsula. And uh, most of the earthquakes are happening along the dike. You see here clearly along the magma dike where we have the magma breaking through the magma tunnel. Uh, there was somewhat a lot of activity along the um, parallel volcanic system of Kresovik uh, along the lake here. And maybe there is magma intrusion also there, uh, but it was significant. There is significant earthquake activity in that area too along the lake here. But we don't see any inflation of Earth in that area or a deformation of Earth. But here we have a deformation and rise of Earth in this area. So you can see clearly this dike uh, just very, very explicitly visible from the earthquakes as they are happening. And it's going straight through the city of Grindavik, which is here along the red line. 
uh, that you will see in the next uh, footage uh, of mine. So this is the magma dike uh, you see. And uh, the problem is that geothermal power plant, which is located right next here, provides electricity and hot water not only to Grindavik, but also to Kaplovic City, the international airport, like great parts of Reykjanes Peninsula. And it will be the biggest uh, uh, problem uh, if uh, all those towns will be left without uh, uh, electricity and energy and hot water, so it will be kind of problematic. Uh, but of course, if the city of Grindavik gets destroyed, that would be a real drama, real tragedy. People already moved away and left all the houses. So let's hope that the uh, eruption will take place a bit further north, not right here in the city. And there will be as little uh, destruction as possible. Uh, as you know, there was also found a fault, a fish subsidence, a fish the earth is falling. It wasn't first visible, but it is running straight through the city. Uh, somewhere where they have a school here in this area so it means uh, it's a sign that magma is breaking through but let's filter out to 12 hours and um, see the past 12 hours still ongoing the past 12 hours and you can go even as far as six hours the last six hours now is uh, 10 o'clock in the evening, 10.42 in Aston, 12th of November, the last six hours we had this many earthquakes again all along the dike, magma dike and you can see here clearly where it is ongoing from the earthquakes and but also in the last past six hours we are having earthquakes at Cleverwood Lake yet at another central volcano called Krisovic Central Volcano which is running parallel to Schwarzenke volcanic system uh, to the east uh, here you see so the earthquakes are continuing this is the data from the past six hours and they're also happening in the ocean along the Reykjanes ridge in the ocean where we have the tectonic fault and we had quite a big earthquake uh, magnitude 3.7 here close to Kleivarvat um, recently and one big earthquake in the ocean uh, magnitude 3 so uh, but earthquakes do come in waves uh, as you know and there are days when we have more earthquakes than than earlier so this is the magma dike uh, some say that there is a, there might be volcanic eruption along the Eltwar craters we as which are somewhat here to the west um, but we don't have earthquakes there right now like there is nothing indicating that the magma would be breaking up there so this is the most likely site of the eruption and let's uh, go um, more shallow let's check earthquakes uh, at the depths of uh, four kilometers uh, uh, situation doesn't change much four kilometers depths shallow earthquakes they all happening along the dike let's check uh, depths of two kilometers and this is at the depths of two kilometers we have earthquakes ongoing along the dike as well and there was one shallow earthquakes in the ocean 3.2 also at uh, less than two kilometers so this is less than two kilometers let's go uh, you can go uh, more than that it's just the most shallow is two kilometers so and, uh, and you see not many gas quakes in Grindavik, so we have a, a fault there. But I mean, shallow earthquakes. Uh, shallow earthquakes are happening close to Silingafat, like in the middle of the uh, of this dike. So maybe we will see eruption in the middle of the dike, which will allow us to save the city, and make some maybe walls and protection barriers if it happens in the middle. Uh, or would be the best here uh, to the north of course so the fact that there are no shallow earthquakes right in the Grindavik and at the depths of two kilometers right now like in the past six hours let's go to the past uh, uh, 24 hours you see the past 24 hours we also don't have shallow earthquakes uh, in Grindavik city itself 
uh, but further north so it's uh, most likely that option will take place here but we shouldn't exclude also Grindavik well anywhere along the the dike so that's we that's how we previously predicted uh, the site of the eruption at Eldward crater almost no earthquakes here to the uh, to the west so this is the current situation in Iceland earthquakes continue as you see and they are quite uh, numerous the unrest is still ongoing as you see this is only two kilometers but if you go bigger you see you have um, more earthquakes at greater depths so this is what is going on